Witnesses tell police this Penske truck approached the 4th Street intersection with no signs of stopping for the red light. Within seconds, it rear-ended a car and stopped at the light. 49-year-old Deborah Dowds was killed. My heart dropped. He told me that, and I just was like, oh, my God. Dowds worked at a nursing home and part-time at a Walmart. Her family is trying to remain strong in the face of the tragedy. Rich, how will your family get through this? Oh, we'll just have to deal with it, suck it up, you know, but it's a real shame, you know, someone going to work, got to lose their life like that. Police say the truck was driven by 36-year-old Jeremy Ray Hurst. Police say there is no indication he applied brakes while approaching the intersection. As a result of the impact, he pushed um, the victim's vehicle approximately 260 feet before it came to rest. Um, she was most likely killed instantly. Terribly sorry. You know what happened? Uh, think you fell asleep, buddy? Think you fell asleep, man? I'm just terribly sorry for the loss of the family. Hearst's apology will not lessen pending charges. He is wanted in Tennessee for the possession of methamphetamines and theft. And now he faces pending charges for the deadly crash on Route 65. It'll probably be extradited back to Tennessee, and then once we complete our investigation, then we'll have to be brought back here.